Uh, I but, go anywhere. but I hear the firings have begun, uh, Anthony. Really? We had some exclusive audio of that going on. Oh. Yes. Here's uh, one poor soul trying to save his job. What you do at Inatech is you take the specifications from the customers and you bring them down to the software engineers. Yes, y yes, uh, that's that's right. Well, then I just have to ask, why couldn't the customers just take them directly to the, to the software people, huh? Well, uh, I'll tell you why. Uh, because engineers are not good at dealing with customers. Uh -huh. So you physically take the specs from the customer? Well... No, my, my secretary does that, or the facts. So then you must physically bring them to the software people. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes. Uh, what What would you say you do here? <laughs> well, look, I already told you. I deal with the goddamn customers so the engineers don't have to. I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand it? What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely what goes on behind those closed doors. There's going to be a lot of those conversations going on in the next couple of days. Someone's just pretty much crying to keep their job. Yeah. But ah, I got people skills. You ever fight for a job? Um, no, when I got fired, it was for something that I couldn't defend. <laughs> it was always bad. <laughs> What was that? I, anything from, you know, when I was a kid, just barely scraping money together at a job. Mm -hmm. It was always something bad. I was, you know, pilfering or uh, <laughs> late all the time, habitually late, absent, things like that. You know, taking extensive lunch breaks, leaving half a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sucked. I was a very bad employee. <laughs> you ever fight for a job there, Jimmy? Believe it or not, I was, I've only been fired once. And I was five years sober when it happened. Coast lamps. Well, Coast lighting. They were farm-based, really high-end lighting. And I was lighting. doing... Um, Would you like to buy a lamp? Yes. Is your room too dark? Can you not read past 6.30 p.m.? <laughs> Ted's lamps. It's Ted's lamp service. We come over. We'll plug it right in for you. Um, uh. What, they, what was your job at this lighting company? I, I worked for uh, Christoph Silver, which was a very high-end silverware place. We worked in Raritan Center in Edison, and it was a, a major, the, the shipping hub. So all the shipping, the orders came through us and went out through us, and then Christoph moved back to New York City, and Leia Coast Lamps moved right into the warehouse. So I just kind of stayed, and they hired me. Well, what would you say you did there? Um, what well, was your job? I mean, I would, I would put the labels on the boxes and make mm. sure that the tape wasn't coming up. Because, boy, the tape comes off. All of a sudden, you got a lamp lost. Ah, uh, true. But that truck backed in, and I was right there an hour later at least unloading it. <laughs> an hour later. Oh, I was horrendous. And uh, they finally fired me. And I, I'd never been fired before. Wow. I knew I was in trouble, though, because as the shipping order came in, they brought in this Italian guy who spoke Italian and worked his ass off. And like, well, he's just kind of here to help you. Oh. oh, okay, that's cool. Just help. Good. I now I could do less work. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm fired. And I collected unemployment for two years and did stand up. Ah, see, that's that how you got into my it. career. Good so, for you. Yeah, it was the best move ever could have happened to me. Very good. I had a, I had a, uh, I had a boss once. Uh, I, was, I was habitually late, just late all the time. And I guess he had had it at some point. And he, he had talked to me so many times about it, and I just couldn't. I couldn't get up. I was very tired, very sleepy. And uh, it was a job I hated, so, you know, I can get up for this because I enjoyed doing this, but um, I hated this job, so I was never on time. And um, he came in one day, and he goes, uh, why don't you just punch out and go home? And uh, I was like, oh, because I'm late? He goes, yeah. I go, okay. And I assumed he just wanted me to go home that day. You're, so thinking, I, you're thinking beach day. I took it as a kids. day off, like, right. cool, I got a day off, but... Apparently, he never wanted me to come back. <laughs> Wasn't that your uncle? No, he he did, did that, too. That seems to be the way I get fired. You, you had that happen twice? Because yep. as you're saying this, I'm like, well, Ants told this story, and it was his uncle that told him not to come <clears throat> come to work. Yeah, it was that, and then it was at a True Mechanical. And I was uh, working in the shop there, making duct work. And, the, yeah, he told me, uh, just leave, go home. Oh, day off. Rock. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm done. I'm fired. Whoops. Yeah. 
Do you know I worked for Krausers? <laughs> like I, I was the night guy at the, Krausers. You know what Krausers is? It's like um, it's a little convenience store, and uh, it was in the Brunswick Shopping Center in North Brunswick, and uh, I would close up at like 11 p.m. and we had like a little deli area with meats and stuff. Where I'd make sandwiches, and I noticed that there were little teeth prints. Uh -oh. In all of the cheeses and the meats, oh boy, and little little black hash droppings. So apparently the mice had been coming in and eating and dropping little mouse duties, and uh, there was just it was infested. It was covered with uh -oh. mouse bites and mouse duty. So I remember I talked to the district manager. I'm like, I can't sell this. This is gross. And he's like, That's ah, all right. Just fine. You can sell it. Oh. He, he saw he saw the teeth prints and he goes, Oh, you can sell it. So he told me just to cut around the teeth prints ah. and throw out the stuff that had been bitten into. Well, at least he uh, said that. And um, I actually took a stand. I was like Norma Ray. I refused to sell mm. the meat with feces in it. Sure, that worked out well for you. I wound up just quitting. I think I just yeah. didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, mm. gave him my keys. <laughs> Good story, Jim. You got to think the little. I liked it. Yeah, that's great. Should be so thirteen episodes. Should be built around it. <laughs> the guy who wouldn't sell mouse duty on the cheese. <laughs> I think his little <laughs> mice feet were just stomping around the meat as he's uh, taking bites. Oh, dragging those giant gonads that they have across <laughs> across the cheese. <laughs> Ugh. It was really awful. I was just stealing cigarettes in my stupid light blue Kango. Oh, what a <laughs> dork! What a punchable white nerd. <laughs> stupid cracker. <laughs>